We have never seen the river dry at this time of the year. There's not much grass and there's not enough water to sustain people and wildlife. The water is underground and, uh, and this is how we get water for both wildlife and our livestock and also for people. This is how we are surviving. We go early in the morning before the livestock are released and see where the lions are. Then we bring that message back to the community so that they can avoid those areas. So we just got a signal of Naramat, so we we'll go around and see if she's still there. Hello, Yeah. That there? You see the lion? We know the lions are in the area. We go back and spread that awareness within the community so that they are aware, they are more vigilant, they look after the livestock properly. Someone have just called us uh, and said that he, he had the gunshot. So we're just going in there and check uh, to see if people are shooting guns. Cows have just come to lion habitat and the lions are very scared. The lions are scared of the cows because uh, of people. They know that if we kill cows, people will kill them. When lions move to a different place, the lions are in risk. So we found out that uh, when the livestock were taking water, drinking water on a well, then the elephant came there. So people were shooting up on the air to scare the elephants away. We have lived centuries with wildlife. Anytime I lose a lion, it's just like losing one of my family. If there is no lions in Samburu, it's no life. <laughs>